Hello everybody, meg 2 Seth. Gonna do a, another quick tutorial on how to use the blade style editor. Uh, the style editor, is, you need to open it with Google Chrome number one, and then, you know, we're gonna learn how to use it. So let's say I'm looking to make something that has, you know, a style that can do something when off, as well and I'm sitting here looking for something yep here we go see at the bottom here this color when retracted and you see it's black that means we can actually program it to have a behavior so this is the in out helper and you know right now let's see what it's, it looks like a normal blue blade right but let's say we want to make a, a, a crystal chamber that does blade matching so we're going to use this this blade as our main blade but then to program the crystal chamber let's say we want it to pulse like a heartbeat in um, I don't know red or black so what we do is we go down here on the right to this you know where it says black and you can replace any color with an effect and so what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a pulsing here and I'm kind of slow pulsing. So now it's pulsing, you can see between red and blue and that's what it's going to do when it's off, but I don't want it to do that. Let's say I want it to pulse between blue and black. So what I do is I come down and select red because I don't want it to pulse between red. I want it to pulse between black. Now black means that, you know, it's totally off. So now if you'll look, you can see it pulsing between blue and off. But it's pulsing too fast. You know, let's say we want it to be like a heartbeat. I'm going to make the pulse at 4,000 milliseconds. So there it is pulsing between blue and black at 4,000 milliseconds. Why don't we even make it even, you know, we could do 3,000. Trying to make it look like some of those pulsing, let's go 3,500. So there, we now we have a pulsing crystal chamber LED but this blade style, when you come over here and click in these in this outer field, then you get the whole blade style back. So you can click on any of these inner fields and then you're only modifying, you know, whatever that is. And if you want to ever replace a color, like right now I have blue highlighted, you just come over here and, you know, click on a color and you can see now it's green, but I want to go back to blue. When you're ready to test, the blade style you've built, you click in the outer field, which pulls in all of the blade into your program, and then you use your controls. So now let's ignite this thing. So now it's ignited. Clash, blast, lock up. So now we have a crystal chamber uh, string program that will blade match as well. But when you turn the saber off, the crystal chamber will pulse like this. This is a, a simple way to use the editor. So let's clear all this out. Let's try something else. So let's say you want a gradient blade. So I'm going to come down here. Let's go. Okay, here's a... So there's a gradient blade and it goes from red to blue and then clash is cyan and yellow gradient. But let's say you don't think that red goes far enough down and you want to add more gradient. So here's our first gradient color set over here. It goes from red to blue. The the other, you know, the cyan and yellow is, is merely the clash color that you see here and these numbers are extension and retraction links so if we want a, a really slow extension let's try 1000 there and submit and 
Now we're going to turn it off. Now watch, it'll have slow extension. And you can make it even slower. And you could make it 2,000. Submit. There's a really slow extension. Which is, you know, pretty cool. But anyway, back to the gradient. So this is the base color of my blade, which is gradient from red to blue. Now let's say I don't, I want it to, I want more red in the blade. So I want this transition to happen further down the blade, maybe just a little bit of blue in the tip. So what I'm going to do is come here and highlight blue. And remember, I told you, you can have an effect anywhere you have a color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the gradient effect and I'm going to extend it. And so here's gradient from red to blue. So now I've got gradient from red to gradient to red to blue. So now the gradient was going to be longer down the blade. So now only the very tip of the blade is transitioning to blue because I added another gradient on top of a gradient. That's just an example of how you can create these blade styles. Uh, but the key thing to remember is anywhere, like when you come here to highlight a color. So this is the first color in my gradient. And let's say I want it to be white. But now you see is a white blade. Well, that's because you just have white highlighted. But if you come out here to the outside, there's your white to blue, white to blue gradient with red and mixed in the middle. Um, but the white's drowning out the red. Let's say um, let's change this to a more. Let's go hot pink there to red to blue. Let's see what that looks like. Or why don't we go red to hot pink. To blue. Let's see what that looks like. So you can do all kinds of crazy things with these blades. But the bottom line is you just need to know that you highlight a color here that you want to adjust. And you come over here and you can select any color you want. And also, anywhere you have a color specified, you can also insert an effect from this field. But the only way to get an idea of what you've done with the blade is to come out here and highlight all of it. So you have the entirety of the code ex uh, done. And you see here, when it's retracted, it's just black. Let's say when it's you know retracted that we wanted it to, to pulse again. I'll show you this. So now it's black, so it's off when retracted. But let's say we want it to do something crazy. Uh, you know when it's when it's in. Let's try something different. Let's try I don't know a, a hump flicker and see what that looks like. And you know, that's crazy. But I want it, let's say I want it to be a hump flicker that pulses <laughs> and make it even crazy. So I'm going to pulse it between red and black. I meant to change that to black. And then that's the other noise and the flicker and then the hump width is 50, which that really doesn't matter. Alright, so now I've got a pulsing hump flicker. And this is what it's going to look like. And let's say I want my pulse to be at 3,000 I'm going to change this magenta to black and see what we get there you can also change it there 
So this is what your crystal chamber LED would do when the blade is off. But if we come out, now remember, it's only showing you this section of what, what this is doing, which is, you know, your behavior went off. But if we come out here and highlight the whole blade style, there it ignites. And when you decrease the power, it starts doing your off behavior. So let's say you really like this blade style, which I don't, I'm just playing. You're going to highlight all the text, copy it, <coughs> I'm going to open your, <coughs> your configuration file where you're designing this blade for, and as you can see here, I've got written style, Peter, and then an opening, and then I'm going to paste, and there's my new blade style within my config. The blade style starts with style, Peter, and it ended in here, and this was my paste from the blade style I just made. And then, of course, all blade styles in in parentheses, comma, and then you have your OLED display uh, text that appears in an OLED display if you use one. And then, of course, the end of preset marker here. And then this here is a whole new preset. <coughs> So that's how to use the style editor. You can also use the style editor in reverse. So let's say you want to see what my, okay, so this is my lightning blade. So instead of copying, you know, everything from style, Peter, we're just going to copy what's in the parentheses, starting with in out spark tip. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> end with one parentheses. And I want to copy this. And I want to go see what this blade looks like. So I've already got that highlighted, so now I'm going to paste this lightning blade into here and submit. There's my lightning blade. There's what it looks like. Clash, blast, lock up, tip drag. So there you can see what the lightning blade looks like. Um, that's what the lightning blade looks like. And you can come in and adjust anything you want on the lightning blade. So that's how you do it. I hope that helps everybody on how to use the lightsaber blade editor.